Hey guys, this is Dr. Wendy. Um, we're doing another case today. We, <laughs> we had a um, we had a little guy come in today that was found, and um, we're gonna kind of show his initial exam, what we find wrong with him, and go from there. You can see he's got really icky teeth. I don't think I got a good view. Here we go. He's got hardly any teeth, and the teeth he does have aren't very good. You can see he's got some fleas and he's missing some hair. He's pretty skinny. Um, he does have a problem retracting his little man part. And he does have an enlarged prostate. Um, he's pretty old. We don't really know what else is wrong with him. We're running blood work and I'm um, gonna kinda go from there. We took an x-ray just because his chest sounded a little bit noisy. Um, we suspected it was coming more from upper airway noise from his teeth issue and his sinuses, but we just wanted to make sure. Um, we also wanted to check out his back because of the way he's so hunched back and kind of waddles. So as you can see there, he's got two vertebrae that are pretty much fused together. Um, may cause a problem in the future, but right now he gets around okay. Kind of another finding, we found this opaque structure in the stomach. Not really sure what it is, so we're going to take another x-ray here in a little bit and see if it's moving or what it's doing. Here's our second x-ray um, next day and it's still there in the stomach. The food is passed through. He's not vomiting, he's pooping normally, and he's eating. So for now, we're just gonna keep an eye on him, let it, you know, make sure he doesn't develop any issues, especially since he's so old. We really don't wanna go in and do another surgery on him. So in the meantime, if it's not causing a problem, we're just gonna let it be. What we're doing now is called a purse string. So we're gonna put a suture around here and then tighten it a little so to hold everything in and try and keep it from sticking out. We've got all the suture in and now we just have to tie it. And so this little guy, when he pees though, he actually pees kind of backwards. So we're gonna have to figure out the best way to get this to work for him. It's not quite straightforward. So we've got him here now, as you can see. So that's his canine tooth, and that's just rotten. Um, back here he's got this tooth, and that's all just pus, caked on food. Um, you can see that, so those teeth are gonna have to come out. This one is, we might see if we can do, if we can save it. Um, not sure about that one yet, it's kind of wiggly though. But as you can see, lack of dental care definitely is really bad on these guys' teeth. Um, which is why we definitely recommend routine dental care on, on pets. He's most likely got what they call an oral nasal fistula. That's where the little nose, sinus, and the mouth meet. And a canine tooth should not be this easy to extract. That is definitely a very rotten tooth. Okay, so we've wiggled that tooth and that just fell out. So he's going to need some extensive antibiotics. He's already been on them for a couple, about since last week when we got him. So he'll stay on them for a while. This side is the other side and we've got the same thing, nasty wiggly canine tooth. He's already lost this one on this side. And then he's got those teeth that are wiggly and rotten. Other than that, so after this, he's going to be toothless. He'll still be able to eat just fine and he'll feel a lot better with all these rotten teeth out of his mouth. So this is day after, or afternoon after surgery. He was neutered. All his teeth were pulled. 
and we fixed his little prepuce. So he is able to pee. We did watch him pee. His little backbones are sort of fused, so he does walk a little funny, but he looks pretty good. How about us? Hey! And his skin's looking better, and his hair's looking better. So yeah, he looks good. Well, this is Peter's last update. Um, unfortunately, he went home before I could film it with him. His mom got so excited to, to come and get him, so she came a little bit early. But it's been about a week, week and a half, and he's doing really well with her. He's still eating, he's drinking. He's not vomiting, so the thing in his stomach's not causing an issue, and he's putting on weight, he's getting his hair back. She sent us some pictures, so we're going to put those up next. Um, but just want to thank everyone again. We couldn't do this without your support, and we'll see you on the next case. Thanks. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up, but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and then